What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and we have a little bit of breaking news that just came out a little while ago as President Joe Biden just met with state governors and he pledged that more money, more funding, more state stimulus was gonna be on the way. And this is your Build Back Better and Stimulus Check update. Now I'm gonna be sharing with you the actual video footage so you can see it for yourself. Here's a small clip of what President Biden had to say. Gov, you said send your money. We have. <laughs> We've sent you a whole hell of a lot of money. And uh, we're gonna send you more. You keep using it as well as you have. The American Rescue Plan, uh, there was uh, a major part was $350 billion to allocate to your states and local budgets, as well as funds for school and for childcare. And we know the difference this has made in jobs. Last year, we had the greatest job growth in American history. And uh, as part of that, state and local jobs grew by 464,000. Now, I'm gonna be sharing with you the entire address here shortly so you can see it for yourself. And also, I've got the video footage of state governors letting the president know that if you send us money, we will gladly spend it and use it to help our states get through the pandemic at this time. And they also let them know that they wanna get things past the pandemic to a point where they can kinda of live the way they were before the pandemic struck. So I'm gonna be sharing with you that video footage. And also, you guys, we had White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki in a press briefing today let us know that Build Back Better talks are continuing as well and that they're making progress. They believe they're gonna get things done. Now, we're hearing that all of this additional stimulus and spending all these things are taking place aside from the Build Back Better Stimulus Reconciliation Bill. Now, I'll be sure to keep you up to date on all that information. And also, if you missed my previous videos, you might want to check them out as we got an update today from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, who let us know about the potential arrival time, the timeline of when we can expect to see Build Back Better come to the Senate floor and get passed. So check out that video to find out the arrival time. And also, we've got word that there's actually tons of leftover stimulus, about 800 billion to be exact, from previous stimulus packages, which could equate to two full additional $1,400 stimulus checks. Now to get all the information and the updates on that, go ahead and check out that previous video I did today. But right now, I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest on Joe Biden's new pledge for more stimulus. And also, very quickly, just wanted to say thank you for all the support on that second channel, Steve Ram Finance. And if you're somebody that's interested in learning about growing wealth and personal finance, I will pin a comment down below. All you gotta do is click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications, consider joining if that's of interest to you. I know there's a lot of people that are going through it right now, and I hope that channel is a blessing to you. And also, you guys, though, let's go ahead and dive into the latest with economic news, Joe Biden, and more stimulus. And let's start off by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just takes a second, really helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. All you got to do is hop onto Instagram and shoot me a DM at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first, let's take a look at an update on Build Back Better from White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, and then we're going to be jumping into that governor's meeting that took place today. The Build Back Better negotiations, uh, is that a fair word for them? Is, uh, is that ongoing? Uh, you say whether the president has spoken recently with Senator Manchin or Senator Sinema? I'm not going to give any details uh, on any conversations he's had uh, per our policy of uh, trying to keep those conversations private. I will say that there are, is still a great deal of interest, passion, I might say, uh, and advocacy on the Hill uh, for moving forward uh, with, uh, with a Build Back Better agenda because uh, there's a recognition and understanding that it's long overdue uh, for Congress to take steps to lower costs uh, on, for child care, uh, lower costs for elder care, uh, negotiate the price of prescription drugs, uh, and, and ask uh, higher income companies and Americans to pay more. Uh, those are all also widely popular among the public. So right now, the point we're at is there's a lot of discussion among members, their staffs, committees. We're engaged in those as well about what big chunk, just to keep using the phrase, um, we can uh, we can agree on moving forward. And of course, that would require 50 votes, but those conversations are always ongoing. 
So there you have it, you guys. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki saying they're working away on the chunks of the Build Back Better that are going to pass. And I'll keep you up to date on that. But now let's take a look at what happened today with President Joe Biden and governors, what was said about more state stimulus. And let's start off with the governors who addressed the president first, and then we'll take a look at the speech that he had in response and how he said more money is going to be on the way. Uh, thank you for hosting us today in the East Room. Uh, this annual tradition has really never been more important and timely. And uh, during our weekend meeting that we've just uh, concluded, uh, your administration has been extraordinarily helpful to us. Secretary Buttigieg uh, joined us for discussion on the infrastructure with Mitch Landrew. They did an extraordinary job answering questions. Of course, the governors are used to fixing roads. Uh, we know how to get it done and bridges and the infrastructure funds, you know, the consensus or in a bipartisan way is we want flexibility. So uh, send us the money, uh, give us flexibility. Uh, we will spend it and you can audit us. Uh, but uh, we, we would welcome uh, uh, that partnership. Um, look, well, the American Rescue Plan uh, was a lot of money and it was designed to uh, make sure we could carry the nation forward in dealing with uh, vaccines, boosters, or creating jobs and keeping schools open and a number of other things. And uh, Gov, you said, send your money. We have. <laughs> We've sent you a whole hell of a lot of money. And uh, we're going to send you more and keep using it as well as you have. Uh, and uh, we're talking about uh, the ability to really, the way I look at it, and I mean this sincerely, and I've said it last night in a more casual way. We are at an inflection point, and we have an opportunity. America is one of those nations, I think the only nation, that's come out of every crisis stronger than it, than it went into the crisis. And I'm not being, it's not hyperbole. We've had a crisis, we've come out, we've been stronger. And I think that's where we are again. And uh, I think we have a chance to uh, sort of restate and reassert our world leadership on a whole range of issues and lead the world on everything from the environment to uh, dealing with uh, um, the issues of, uh, of immigration, a whole range of issues, Gov. And, uh, and, uh, the, we, but the American Rescue Plan gives us the resources to do many of those things. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of challenges out there that we're not even talking to directly today. There's so many, but the surge of gun violence since the start of this pandemic. I made it clear we should use these funds to combat violent crime as well, uh, including hiring additional police officers and investing in community violence interventions and proving to work in communities. And I know uh, you're making those investments in Michigan. I know you're making those investments in New Jersey. You're making those investments in Ohio. A lot of you're making them all over the country. Another one of the national challenges, we need to bring back workers to better jobs with better pay and better working conditions than the ones that they, they, they left. The American Rescue Plan, uh, there was a major part was $350 billion to allocate to your states and local budgets as well as funds for school and for child care. And we know the difference this has made in jobs. Last year, we had the greatest job growth in American history. And uh, as part of that, state and local jobs grew by 464,000, uh, uh, the most in 20 years. And uh, Governor of Hawaii, you've worked, uh, you've talked about uh, the 10,000 state workers that you're able to keep on the job thanks to the American Rescue Plan. I'm not sure where you're sitting, but uh, at any rate, uh, there you are, Gov. Sorry, uh, and um, and uh, and I know that the education funds help many of you uh, uh, stay open, keep your schools open, and keep them open safely. There's a lot of money you have there for everything from dealing with ventilation to uh, to clean bus school buses uh, and everything in between. There's no reason why we can't keep our schools open, in my view. And getting kids to school was an essential step, getting our economy back to normal. We're not quite there yet, but we also know that if people find they can afford childcare, they get back to work as well. I think uh, we're going to be coming back to you. There's one reason why there's 1.2 million women 
who were working who are not in the job market now because it's hard to get back and uh, the combination of worrying about the school open as well as whether or not there's uh, the cost of uh, a child care. In 43 of your states, you've already gotten relief with 150,000 child care providers to help many of them keep their doors open uh, and uh, at a critical time, the actual physical facilities. And now we need to do even more to get Americans, uh, uh, keep them at work and the essential workers on the job. And that can mean, as some of you used, uh, with hero retention bonuses, higher pay, temporary paid leave to combat burnout and essential health care workers uh, um, like Delaware, Illinois, Kansas, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, and Pennsylvania have all announced. Um, it can mean paid leave as it's being done in the state of, uh, state of Washington. But uh, keep schools open to keep kids in school to make up for learning losses. We need to bring back more teachers, more tutors, uh, bus drivers, school nurses, um, and, uh, and we're seeing creative efforts in North Carolina, for example, which is providing bonuses for all school employees in Arkansas, as you know, Gov, which is creating a, a tutoring corps. And uh, we're seeing in states like Kansas, New Jersey, and Nevada using funds to expand the pool of counselors and mental health care workers in our schools, which are badly needed, in my view. And uh, already 27 states have announced they're using over $14 billion dollars in the American Rescue Plan funds to get uh, a head start on rebuilding our nation's infrastructure. As you said, Gov, you, you know how to build roads and bridges. Well, we got a hell of a lot to build, and we're going and we're going to build a bunch of them, and also clean water and ports and a whole range of things. We have a lot of opportunity to build back a lot better. And I think it's really important. It's equally important to make sure we have well-trained and diverse workforce ready to fill the jobs and careers that my infrastructure, our infrastructure law is going to help open up wide. And that means using the rescue plan funds to support union-based apprenticeships, community college partnerships, on-the-job training in key areas like advanced manufacturing and clean energy, which some of you are doing, and construction. And we're seeing uh, states like Wisconsin, Colorado, Connecticut, North Carolina, Maine, Massachusetts, all doing that already. We have dozens of examples of how important the creative work that is underway is resulting in we're providing a hell of a lot more flexibility that you all required. I think we've done that. I, if you haven't, I'd like to hear it today. If you don't have enough flexibility, it's good work you're doing. It's a good start. And we need you to do even more to retain, train, and hire workers. We need to serve our people and expand our economy. And so because of uh, this is a chance for us to not only come together and get through this pandemic, it's a chance for us to come through it stronger and, uh, and ready to build on our progress and deal more Americans in and win the competition of the future. We are doing better than any nation, any major nation in the world. We've got to keep that. We've got to pick it up. And I can think of no better group of people to uh, pick it up with. It takes state leaders, federal business, labor. I've, not, I've never seen as much cooperation that is across the board. Um, there's differences, I know, but there's been a hell of a lot of cooperation across the board, including business and labor, and pulling together, accelerating efforts, and trying to do a lot more to make sure we get out of this hole. And so I want to thank you all for being here. And uh, Well, there you have it, you guys. That was today with President Joe Biden and governors, and it looks like more state stimulus, in addition to the $350 billion that was allocated from the American Rescue Plan, is gonna be on the way. Now, we will see what unfolds with this, what governors decide that their state residents need. As you know, we're seeing a lot of stimulus packages, and in some cases, state, county, or city level stimulus checks as well. Now, we will see, I will keep you up to date, but that additional funding could mean more state stimulus packages. And that is the latest, you guys, and as more information comes out, I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you have not already, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube 
YouTube algorithm helps out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. All you gotta do is hop on Instagram, shoot me a DM at steveram3, and if you're interested, consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, as well to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.